Hi there, how are you? Are you gonna actually come sit with me or are you gonna just knock my camera over? <sighs> Silly dog. All right, so today's video is just gonna be a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to be using an art supply I have never used before. Now, disclaimer, I teach art. And one of the things I'm very proud of is that I can usually get into any art supply and use it pretty easily. Like, I, I, I understand most mediums once I get into them. But one medium that I've always been fascinated by because I just love everything that I've ever seen anything done with is gouache. And I've never even touched the art supply before. I've never used it. I've never, like, I've never even seen it wet. Like, I have never, ever even seen it wet. I, I don't even know if I've seen any gouache paintings, like, in real life that, like, somebody has freshly drawn. Like, my experience with gouache is zero. So I got uh, the Hemi gouache set from, I bought it from Amazon, and um, I decided to give it a try. Now this is a little bit different than most gouaches. I actually have another set of gouache that I bought from Blick, which is in the tube. This is actually jelly gouache, and it's just a variety, like a huge variety of colors. The gouache set that I got from Blick is um, actually only like uh, five colors. And so I was really excited to try something with just a really big variety of colors because I don't have to do as much mixing. I might use a little bit of white to lighten things, but I was really excited to try it out. So you are now going to witness me for the very first time using gouache and I'll give you some ideas. So we're going to kind of paint together and see what we think. And then I'll kind of give you my art supply review at the end. But really this, since it's my first time ever using it, it's also going to be kind of my first impressions. So I hope you enjoy this video and I will see a painting. So the first thing I did was swatch the paints, not necessarily because I wanted to see the colors, but because I want to see how it felt on the paper. This is a smaller sketchbook of the same paper. I'm using B paper for this particular one, and I noticed it was actually really hard for me to clean the brushes good enough. I got some of my jelly pods a little messy, which is why I'm not showing you the jelly pods, because somebody will be very sad with how I treated them. And then I just decided to start painting. Um, first try, I started with a reference of a field. And the first thing I noticed right away is how it dried so nice and creamy. It didn't like lose any of the quality. Like a lot of times when you paint with acrylic, once it dries, it kind of almost starts to get like dull. And I felt like gouache didn't do that so much. It also revitalized if you got it wet again, so you could blend a little bit like watercolor, but it moved better than watercolor did. Um, I loved how it layered and you could do so many details. Plus I really liked the speed at which it dried. The other thing was it was so easy to get little details. So it was really exciting to do. So to kind of wrap things up and kind of bring everything to a close, um, my final thoughts and of course the grade that I would give it. Uh, first of all, I loved these. I didn't know I could love something this much. I love watercolor and I love acrylic and it was like the best of both of those mediums. And then just, I don't know if all gouache is like this. I'm gonna try regular gouache and do another, like maybe if you liked this video, if you thought it was fun, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make another video. But pretty much I'm gonna use the regular gouache and see if it's different than like the the, the gouache, gouache, the jelly gouaches. I, that still doesn't sound right, but I know it is. Anyway, so the jelly gouaches, um, I know that uh, it's it might be a little bit different, so I might try that out too, but it was, just the most fun. I don't know if I've had this much fun painting, a first painting in so long. It was so much fun, people. So um, I don't know if you were ever on the fence about using gouache. I know that it's kind of a medium that it's on Pinterest a lot, and I've seen a lot of videos about it, and that's kind of what drew me to it in the first place. But I cannot recommend it enough because it's, it was so much fun, like pure child joy. That's all I, that's obviously all I can say. Obviously not sponsored because I'm not good at, obviously I'm not sponsored. However, if you are just like that must have in my life, I'll put a link to the Amazon link to this thing. Um, and also maybe another link to another company if you're anti Amazon. Um, so yeah, I will put that on there. Um, my final grade on this is an A plus, uh, A plus plus. I loved 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 working with this i can't tell you how much i loved working with this it was such a surprise and so um yeah as an art teacher that's never used it before uh, i think that everyone should definitely use this now so have a great i hope that you found this helpful i hope you like what i did um let me know if you have any suggestions for what is a great thing to paint in the bottom below tell me if you've ever used gouache before do you like it as well um and so yeah have a great day everybody bye